Let's talk about Mozart's 40th symphony. Um, we have this really famous theme. It's important to know that when Mozart wrote this symphony, he was um, in a really um, uh, sad mood because he just uh, lost his little girl, um, who was uh, like one year old, actually. So this is one of the most tragical work uh, in Mozart, Mozart's uh, masterpiece. So um, we have this uh, really famous theme with uh, anacrosis, actually. Um, so how to phrase it? Because um, I think it's important, important to phrase uh, from the anachrosis, but it's important also to have the this to have the downbeat uh, with progression and uh, not to have so you have to to do it and um, to do the perfect mix between and so maybe just to have a kind of attack and, and something here, something resonant. But don't forget that when we have the, the theme, it's forte, and we are with the trombone who plays uh, really loud, and um, we have less place to do something really uh, uh, phrasing uh, in all details. So for an audition, it's important to show both, to show phrasing, but also then you know where it is in the piece and uh, we need sound. So. <laughs> which is important to have a good fingerings who works well and uh, maybe without too many changes of bow of uh, strings like this there is a lot of options again but try to find something with uh, less changes of string as possible so my suggestion is uh, When you play faster, is it sounds easily, and it's important to have so this kind of spiccato. Maybe it's a spiccato uh, a bit less um, aggressive than it uh, than in. Um, like this, for example. It's a bit lighter. So, just to play it really clearly, we need to have this kind of thing. Because sometimes we hear ta -ta, ta -ta -tum, ta -tum. and this not so clearly. So, just practice with. Like this. When you play it for real, put a really, really, really little accent on this here, on this one, and on this, this one. And I love to do down, down, but can work too, but I think this 
uh, will be a, a bit uh, more calm in the bow. <laughs> So the same here. There is no magic dot fingerings here. Maybe you can do this, but it's less practical. So be precise, precise in the bow. So practice it with open string. just for because this is easy but this is um, less easy <laughs> so think about this one here you can phrase it uh, by groups of quavers but with a general direction, uh, like uh, so maybe you could do something like maybe less and less by groups, but you can play it more and more by a general direction. Uh, in the phrase, so by group, by group, and more and more by general phrasing. <laughs> 